Hello, Veta121 here. Welcome back. And we are let's playing Final Fantasy. And in the last episode, we defeated the uh, the Phantom Train here, and we rescued all the people of this village, I guess, and this random village in this random cave. Whatever. I I don't even care about these people. These people aren't real. They're illusions, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, if you go in this house right here, we can progress. And yeah, in this episode, we're going to be doing the final ten floors here of the Whisperwind Cove. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll get through all of it. Alright, what kind of crap can we get on this floor? Ooh, a golden apple. That's actually not crap. Surprising because it seems like that's all I ever get in this fucking place. It's crap. Most of the time, anyways. Uh, I hope I'm not going to a pointless dead end. That would really, really suck. Whoa, never mind. We have a new enemy here Rock Gargoyle. Yeah, this guy's new. Looks to be fairly vanilla though. Good defense. Really good physical defense. Wow. Not even worth my time. And Turbo Ether and a Power Plus. Hmm, who should I give it to? Yeah, Marcus. He has the most damage potential right now. Oh wait, we have another new enemy here. Mad Ogre. Another ogre type enemy. And he's dead. Oh wait, no. Maybe not. Wow, my monk can't even kill him in a single attack. That's crazy. That is craziness. Um, if I go up, do I leave? Yes, I do. Lunar Curtain, come on, man. I don't want that. Uh, another one of these, huh? Eh, gotta go all the way around. So we should go all the way around. You know, I'm almost tempted to just say fuck it and go straight there and not show this on video or whatever. Because it seems like a lot of the times it's just the same enemies, the same crappy floors, over and over again. Come on. Don't be like that, game. Uh, yeah, we've seen these. I don't really want a Sama drop. Don't really like running into dead ends either. Yeah, we've already seen these enemies. Nothing new. Oops. Fairy tonic, yay. Yay! Yeah, see, I mean, look at this shit. It's like all the same. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, someone please kill me. I'm getting sick of this place. Just get me through it already. Ugh. Yes, that's what I want. The stairs. B-34, no, this looks so familiar. Uh, stamina plus and strength tonic, yay. There you go, Vivi. Oh, man. 
Oh, never mind. We have some new enemies here. We have a new en No, actually, both these enemies are new. Earth Troll and Secret? I don't even know. They're going to die. Or maybe I won't be able to kill them. Holy crap. Wow. Some good HP reserves they got there. Where's the stairs? That's not the stairs. I just want the stairs. Cockatrice Claw, worthless. And ether. So this has got to be the way to the, uh, the stairs. Oh, might as well get the chest as long as I see it. Ooh, an elixir. Not bad. Wow, okay, some more new enemies here. Squid... Squid Rackin? Alright. Ow. What, a ribbon doesn't protect against paralyzed in this game? Lovely. Prepare to meet your doom, squid rackins. Sons of bitches. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah. Eat it. Jerks. Alrighty. B-35. Oh my god. This place is so long! Ooh, a silver apple. I guess it's worth it because you can find some decent stuff in here sometimes, but good grief, man. This dungeon is long. I mean, four videos? Four long videos through this place? I mean, good grief, man. Yo, yeah, stairs. I'll take stairs. What's in here? Dry ether. And a viking axe? That's eh, garbage. Worthless. And worthless phoenix down, a worthless high potion, and some gill that I can't get anyways because I'm maxed out on that. Well, thanks a lot, game. And I'm just gonna run. Just run away. Ho hopefully this leads to the exit. Yes, okay, perfect. That's what I wanted, damn it. Wait a minute, what the hell is this shit? I am a fearsome sight. No, sure my body's made of clay, but still. Uh, huh? What the fuck? Uh, I guess so. Hello. Please stop anything with Dia, I beg you. Right. Once I was a knight who served his kingdom proudly. And you're dead. I went out to catch a glimpse of our clan's princess. What a mistake. Ooh. Even a body like this can suffer pain. So just between you and me, I really don't make much of a fighter. Oh, okay. Everywhere I go, people are always making fun of me. So what if I can't use magic real half-men? Fight with muscle. 
Yeah, I, I guess they do. The pain, the terrible pain, my flesh is running off my bones. That's what happens, man. Whoa. What the fuck? Really? There's encounters in here? Wow. Two-legged life, huh? Yeah, two-legged life is pretty good. Holy crap, how many of these do I have to talk to? Custom-made me knife is... Don't be getting it in your head that this is an ordinal knife. You get my meaning? Right. Holy fuck, man. This is a lot of fucking things to be talking to. <laughs> Astos. Are you serious? We're gonna have to fight him? Really? He's not gonna stand a chance. See, look at that. He's dead. Again. The curse of Astos will follow you to your dying day. Yeah, sure it will. That's what you think. What do I look like in the mirror? Yeah, goblins are pretty... Yeah, you guys are actually pretty weak. Yeah. And we get a power plus. Alright, cool. I'll give that to Marcus, of course. Dark Fighter? I guess. Oh, come on. A vampire, a vampire. Goodbye, vampire. Is this supposed to be some kind of joke? Forgive me, Lich. I'm a Gygus's Gygus. Kind of like a man's man. And there we go, we talked to all of them, and a stairway appears, and only two more floors! Can't wait until this shit's done, man. Another silver apple, hey, hey! There you go, Vivi. Where's the stairs? I, I just want to I just want to get out of this place. I want to fight the last boss. Uh, where is it? Where's the freaking stairs out of here? There it is. One last floor, and it's got to be one of these, huh? Well, that fucking figures, don't it? Oh, never mind. We have a new enemy here. Earth Plant. He looks to be kind of tough. Well, not really. Good experience for just one enemy. Uh, come on. Oh, when will these fuckers ever learn that three-step encounters are retarded? Ooh. You know, I'm liking all these silver and golden apples I keep finding in this place. It's like the most useful stuff I've found. Of course, you know, if you were, like, overleveled when coming here, that stuff would be kind of useless now, wouldn't it? Oh, wait, we have another new enemy here, Bloody Eye. Ow. Jerk. I will make your eye even bloodier. Five experience and two gil. Wow. Oops. 
Giant's Tonic, a Mega Elixir, and a Sama Drop. Yay! Uh, new enemy here, Mage Chimera. I think this is new. It's a new dead enemy, but I think it's new. I think. Uh, no, it's dead end. That's dead end. And where you're going down. Damn it. Oh, Whoa, never mind. A new enemy here. Prototype. Prototype of what? I wonder. Prototype of those machines we were seeing in the, uh, the Sky Fortress, perhaps? In case you don't know what prototype means, it just means the first of its kind. Or early model. Alrighty, what's in here? Oh crap, we've already get Yeah, we've already gotten that. So where where are we supposed to go here? Oh man. I don't think I ever did Oh, well shit man, I could have easily gotten off this floor, but that's alright, got some decent items, I guess. Got a golden apple. Oh thank god. B40. Here we go. Where is the boss? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game and be right back. Okay, all set and ready to go. Grah! Yeah, he doesn't have much to say, does he? Yes, we're going to be taking on Death Gaze. Another great boss from Final Fantasy VI. Uh, this is probably the hardest boss in this, uh, well, in this dungeon. And I do believe he likes to use instant death attacks. But don't quote, yeah, don't quote me on that. Physical attacks do hit extremely hard, so uh, you have to be careful of that, of course. Uh, yeah, good. That. Just attack. Use your giant's gloves. And... Just on him. Cure a jaw. Oh, bull crap. Yeah, that's a crock of bullshit. Um, yeah, full life, I guess. Ha! Jerk. Holy fuck, man. Yeah, we need some protect. That's what we need. And I guess I'll just go with haste on him. Curaja on him. Ow. This guy has pretty high defense.
The spell? Really? He can use the spell? Wow. That's bullshit. Well, at least he... Oh, wait. That, that didn't dispel the saber and, and the haste. Okay, well, I guess it's not so bad then. Yeah, I thought it dispelled all my buffs. Did I already do haste on... I, I don't even remember. Whatever, just attack. God! Oh well. Yeah, quit attacking Vivi, you jerk! There we go. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Just temper. Gotta get Protector up. This guy hits way too hard. Attack! No, I didn't mean to use it on him. Oops. Wrong character. This guy's got a lot of HP. Ah, shit. Fuck it. Look, sir. Ha! Huh, it's not gonna work. What? Huh? Are you fucking shitting me? I have protect rings equipped. Are these... You know, are, are protect rings bugged in this game? Because, last I checked, you know, if something tells you it protects against instant death, Shouldn't it protect you against instant death? I mean, I, I, I don't know. Is there kill? Now you're doing more instant death attacks? What the fuck is that shit about, man? Wow. Yeah, no, no. I need full life. Jeez. That's what we needed. Yeah, now I gotta see here and buff Marcus some more. Which, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna matter. He should be dead by the time. Or before he even gets close to being buffed the way I, I need to get him buffed. This guy has a lot of HP. A lot more than I thought he was gonna have. Yes. Yeah, we got him. All right. Eat it, Death Gaze. 
Well, that was a fun boss. Alright, and we obtain the Lightbringer, the best weapon in the game for the Red Mage job class. And aren't I supposed to get, like, a chest? Yeah, alright, and we get the Ultimate Weapon! Now, this weapon right here, well, first maybe I should go over the Lightbringer, I suppose. Yeah, a sword that casts holy when used um, as an item in battle. Yeah, the red wizard can use it. It's the best weapon in the game for him. But, obviously, I'm not using a red wizard. But the ultimate weapon here, it's a sword bound to its wielder's HP. And pretty much any uh, upgraded job class can use it. So, it's it's like the Moss Mooney in that respect. And it basically, uh, it does damage based on your strength and like your HP or whatever. So yeah, the attack power is really good, um, the accuracy is really good, and I'm going to give it to my white mage for now. I mean, eventually maybe I'll give it to Vivi instead, and I'll just give Rosa the Masamune, but I don't know, actually, yeah, because Rosa's got higher HP than, than Vivi, so she's going to take better advantage of this weapon anyways, so yeah, I'll give it to Rosa, that'll work. And that is all for the Whisperwind Cove. Now I guess... Oh no, wait. I guess you could come back here again and go through all the way through all 40 floors and fight, um... And fight, uh... And fight Death Gaze again if you want more Lightbringers in case you're doing like an all Red Mage party or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that before. You can get uh, the items from the bosses multiple times. Just not in chests. Well, actually, some of the chests you can get multiple times, but I don't think you can get that chest again. But uh, either way, that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. And then the next episode, we're going to be heading to the Life Spring Grotto. That's much shorter bonus dungeon and uh, should be pretty good uh, as far as the bosses. Should be Final Fantasy V bosses, some of the hardest bosses in Final Fantasy history. So yeah, it should be a good time. So this is Vettel121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.